I'm Jess DeLuca and today I am going to explain and show the acting techniques of Delsart, Meyerhold, Chekhov, Grotowski, and Suzuki. To begin, we are going to do Delsart. So Delsart's technique was to find the correct laws of expression, focusing on how real people acted in real life situations. Delsart's technique was to focus on how motion creates emotion and how exterior expressions can produce extreme internal emotions. An example of this would be big physical gesture expanding and stressing certain parts of the body. So I am going to demonstrate an example of pleading. So next we move on to Chekhov. Chekhov disagreed with the Stanislavskian idea that an actor should only use their own emotions. Chekhov believed why shouldn't an actor create imaginative circumstances and imaginative situations in their head in order to create these emotions that are felt? In order to do this, he created the psychological gesture. So the psychological gesture is defined as a physical action that shows the interior feelings and personality of the character. It is used in rehearsal and it is meant to be internalized on stage. An example of this would be grasping. So if you were to grasp out towards somebody and say, please tell me the truth, and grasp out to them and be like, please tell me the truth, please, please tell me the truth. If you were to do that physical gesture of grasping out and reaching towards somebody while saying the line, when you internalize it on the stage, you would have the same emotion. Please tell me the truth, please, please, please tell me the truth, please, please tell me the truth. Next, we move on to Meyerhold. Meyerhold believed that motion and gesture were more important than the words that were said on stage. He created a technique called biomechanics. It would help the actor find their center of balance while also helping the actor find their expressive position in space. One example of a biomechanic exercise is known as shooting the bow. So next we move on to Grotowski. Grotowski wanted to focus on the actor's effect on the audience while stripping theater down to its bare essentials, focusing on the intense physical training of actors as well. He approached training from the negative called the via negativa and asked actors to give up resistance. The physical exercises used by Grotowski are known as plastiques and they address every part of the body while focusing on the breath and sound. And finally, we have Suzuki. So Suzuki wanted actors to build up their concentration while also develop their physical expression skills. And to do so, Suzuki training begins with the feet. So I'm going to show you different examples of walking that Suzuki would use with his actors. So one example of walking would be stomping, then stomping in a lower position. Pigeon toe walking, such as this, and then walking on the inside of the feet. So that was my video on Delsart, Chekhov, Meyer, Holt, Grotowski, and Suzuki. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>